energy to tolerate all this. Not even that, I'm telling you. You can overcome all the difficulties of your physical problem also. I tell you that some dear story. Even the Gurudev Ranade is a work for devotee, a devotee. This December Bhaus and March, it is fact. On those days, I would say about 100 days back, he was suffering from tuberculosis. And on those days, it is with incurable disease. And it's Guru Ranade's mother taken him to the Bhaus and Maharaj. And he'll really surprise out of meditation that this is to completely cure. Really, it is a miracle. Though it is not reality, it happens. It can be happened because you have tremendous power. What I have to tell principal men that you have got tremendous power. Out of the tremendous power, anything can be happened. You will get courage to tolerate all these body-based, cancer, body-based physical problems. Therefore, I'm insisting in the beginning stage you have to devote some time for meditation. It's very basic. Only discussion is not sufficient. Now, what is in your court? Only it need not require any say, conditions, any restrictions, what you are eating, what you are doing. Really. Through meditation, you can identify yourself, dear sis. Basic is identification is most important. All the concepts appear upon your presence. Yes, um, yes. I'm finding the more quiet I get um, and the quieter my mind and ego get that my desire to be of service is the only thing that matters. It's just I, money's not mattering, food's not mattering. Just being, you know, of service to others is become a priority. Is that natural progress or? What emphasis were? Counting ourselves, measuring ourselves, body form. Mm. So many desires are bound to be there. Mm. Expected is bound to be needs are bound to be there. So for which, after having strong devotion, meditation, all desires will be dissolved. Mm. We remain untouched with the world. What do we want exactly? Mm -hmm. In human life, what do we want? We want happiness, peacefulness, mm -hmm. tension-free life and fearless life. Particularly everybody having fear of the death. Whatever position. After knowing what is death, exactly what is death. In deep sleep you are fearing or deep sleep, oh let me go alone. You want deep sleep. So like that, why to fear to death? There is no death at all. Prior to being have you, have you got any fear? So, to have fearless life, you have to undergo meditation. Meditation gives you some courage to be free. It is placing before your reality. And thereafter, I will tell you, meditation also will do you. <laughs> Till you got spontaneous conviction, meditation must. And meditation is for, will be spontaneous afterwards. That mantra is going on throughout the world. It creates vibration, it reminding all the time. You are a Brahma, you are a Brahma, you are a Brahma. You're knocking the door all the time. Yes, you want, you want any question? It is very simple. Yes. Uh, can you be specific about the meditation? When we do meditation, it's not like just closing the eye and concentrating, but we have to repeat the mantra. And, and another thing is, what kind of thinking we, uh, we should have when we meditate? 
Yes, it's a good question. <clears throat> a place before there is an ultimate truth. Body is not your identity at all. I am not body, I was not, I am not going to remain body, it is a fact. Through meditation, through involvement, through devotion, you are reminding all the time your selfless self, you are not body at all. And after having continuous involvement and in devotion, there will be supported his conviction. Use simple example. This body called man, you accept as a man, you are dreaming as a man. You are not saying, I am a man, I am a man, I am a man, some name is given. It can be sure this body called man, this body called woman. You accept it, reacting as it. So you are neither woman nor man, you are Brahman, you have to accept the reality. And for which you have to undergo the meditation. Through meditation, <coughs> you forget body identity, you forget body, body concepts, 